We'd love to know, how has your quarantine been? What have you been up to? Walking your dog? Going for walks? Losing at video games? Ugh. What do you even feel like watching? Or, honestly, have you ran out of things to do entirely? And that's why we started Quizantine. So hunker down, grab a bevy, make sure you have your answer sheet, and let's get to it. What do you need? You're either going to need your phone or tablet with an electronic version of the answer sheet, or a printed out version and your favorite or lucky writing utensil. Alright, so here's how the rules are going to work. There's going to be five rounds. The specific rules for each round are going to be explained prior to said round, so don't worry about that too much just yet. You're going to get a short break after rounds one, three, and four, so don't worry about pausing the video or going for a washer break or whatever, because after round two, there's going to be an extended break where you will get a chance to go to the bathroom, where you will get a chance to refill your beverage. So don't, please don't pause the video. Please don't rewind. Please don't do anything like that. It's really going to take away from the actual experience. Um, obviously, don't Google the answers, please. I know I can't stop you, but it is kind of greasy. And again, we're not really playing for any true prize. So it's really, is it going to feel that good anyways? And then finally, have fun. Um, all the proceeds do go to a great cause. We're going to be giving all the proceeds back to all essential workers in Sulu Health um, through the form of, you know, food donations or gift card donations, stuff like that. More information is going to be available, made available at a later date. So, again, have fun. The specific rules for each round are going to be explained in a little bit, but let's get into it. All right, so everyone ready to go? of Quizantine. So for round number one, we're going to be playing Game Night Feud. So the way this is going to work is we're going to play four games. Each game is going to consist of a survey question, and your job is going to be to determine the three most popular answers to that question. You're going to get one point for each correct answer, so that makes each game worth three points for a total of 12. The order does not matter, so you could have the number one answer in the third spot, the number two answer in the first spot, and the number one answer in the third spot. Does not matter. All that matters is you find those correct answers. Three of them per question. You'll see on your answer sheet a little grid where you can fill your answers in. All right, without further ado, let's get going for question number one. All right, question number one for Game Night Feud. Again, we're looking for the top three answers. We surveyed 100 Americans. Name something teachers threaten to do when a student misbehaves. Again, we're looking for the top three answers. Order does not matter. Name something teachers threaten to do when a student misbehaves. Gonna have 34-ish seconds left. Best three answers.
right, question number two, Game Night Feud. We surveyed 100 American parents and we asked them, name a place where kids complain about having to go to. Looking for your top three answers. Order does not matter, but again, we're looking for a place where kids complain about having to go to. You got about 36 seconds left. Need your three best answers. All right, question number three. We surveyed 100 Americans and we asked them, name something a cowboy might ride if they lost their horse. Again, looking for the top three answers. Name something a cowboy might ride if they lost their horse. Got about 40 seconds left on the clock. You need your three best answers. Again, order does not matter. All right, here we go. The last question of round number one. Question four, we surveyed 100 Americans and we asked them, name something you'd hate to see when you return to your car. Again, name something you'd hate to see when you return to your car. Looking for the three best answers. Three best answers, they don't have to be in order, but again, looking for something you'd hate to see when you return to your car. You got about 30 seconds left. Need the three best answers this is your last chance to pick up points in this round. You got about 25 seconds left. Good luck. Alright, here we go for round number two. The rules in this round are pretty straightforward. You're going to get eight questions. Each question is going to be worth one point, and you're going to have 40 seconds to answer each question. I mean, it goes without saying, but please don't Google the answers. I will find out, and you will be shamed. Alright, good luck for round number two. Alright, question number one. Patty's Pub is the fictional bar in this sitcom whose title is a weather forecast. Patty's Pub is a fictional bar in this sitcom whose title is a weather forecast. You have about 23 seconds left.
All right, question number two. This show airs every Sunday and is so last week. Again, this show airs every Sunday and is so last week. 25 seconds. All right, question number three. Ellen Pompeo stars as a healer in training on this drama. Again, question three. Ellen Pompeo stars as a healer in training on this drama. 25 seconds. Alright, we're breezing right along. Here's question four, almost at the midway point of this round. He hosted Fear Factor and now hosts something known as JRE. Again, we're looking for the person who used to host Fear Factor and now hosts something known as JRE. You got 20 seconds. All right, question number five, we got a tough one. On SNL, this performer with a rhyming name appeared as characters such as Mariah Carey and Judge Judy. So again, we're looking for the performer with a rhyming name that appeared on SNL as characters such as Mariah Carey and Judge Judy. You got about 16 seconds left. All right, question number six. We're cruising right along this round. So Kevin James plays Doug Heffernan on this sitcom. Again, we're looking for the sitcom where Kevin James plays Doug Heffernan. You got about 20 seconds left. All right, we're cruising right along here with our second to last question in this round. John Cleese guest starred as a professor and was John Lithgow's rival on this show. So again, John Cleese guest starred as a professor and was John Lithgow's rival on this show. 20 seconds left. All right, we're here with our last question of the round. Question number eight. Michael Richards won three Emmys working on this show. So we're looking for the show where Michael Richards won three Emmys working on it. You got about 23 seconds left.
All right, let's get ready for round number three. It is up close and personal Sulacote style. So the rules of this game are pretty simple. I'm going to show you a slide with an image on it, and each of these images is going to be a specific building from Sulacote. You're going to have 40 seconds to identify said building, and each image you correctly identify is going to get you one point. So this round is going to be out of a total of six points. So again, hopefully you've been driving around, hopefully you know what Sulaco looks like, and for any out-of-town viewers, I apologize. It is why it's called Quizantine SLKT. So let's get right into it. Oh, <laughs> guess it's time for round number three, eh? One of my favorites. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm just working on the questions for next week's Quizantine. If you somehow make it out of this week alive, next week you're in for a whole world of trouble. Well, I didn't easy into this one. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Pretty tough. What do you think that building is? I don't know, you only got 25 seconds to figure it out. Hmm. I know I recognize that fence from somewhere, but where? Where is that? Huh, do you guys know? 25 seconds. What in God's name is that? I am completely lost on this one, guys. Sorry, no help from me. Hopefully you guys know where it is. 25 seconds. These are a little harder than I thought they were going to be. Do you have anywhere where this place is? I don't even know if architecture exists like that in Sulka. Well, you only got 25 seconds. Figure it out. At least he was nice enough to give us two letters on this one, but I don't know where the hell that is. Al. Al. Al? 20 seconds. Do you know where it is? I have no idea where this place is, but that red definitely clashes with that beige. Whoever designed this building, I'm not quite sure they knew what they were doing. Well, if you can figure out where it is in 20 seconds, you'll get a point.
rules for round number four are basically the same as the rules for round number two. There's going to be eight questions. Each question is going to be worth one point, and you're going to have 40 seconds to answer each question. Please don't Google the answers, just like in round two. Again, I'm going to find out, and you will be shamed. But good luck for round number four. All right, here we go. Question number one in round number four. In this film of the same name, James McAvoy plays Barry Dennis, who has this personality. Again, in this film of the same name, James McAvoy plays Barry Dennis, who has this personality. 20 seconds. All right, moving right along to question number two. Christoph Waltz played Cardinal Richelieu in this 2011 adaptation of this swashbuckling novel. Again, Christoph Waltz played Cardinal Richelieu in the 2011 adaptation of this swashbuckling novel. 20 seconds. All right, question number three. Leonardo DiCaprio was just dreamy as a master of psychic espionage in this flick. So we're looking for the name of the flick where Leonardo DiCaprio plays a dreamy master of psychic espionage. 20 seconds. Alright, moving right along with question number four. As Eldest Snow, Russell Brand sang and taught us all in this 2010 pick, When the World Slips You a Jeffrey, Stroke the Furry Wall. 25 seconds. Question number five, we're more than halfway through round number four. Michael Sarah and Kat Dennings are the title pair in Nick and Nora's What? Again, we're looking for the name of the movie where Michael Sarah and Kat Dennings are the title pair. And it starts with Nick and Nora's What? All right, question number six. The first scene in Walk the Line takes place at this location, moments before a famous concert in 1968. Again, the first scene in Walk the Line takes place at this location, moments before a famous concert in 1968. 20 seconds. All right, only two questions left in this round. So, number seven. This funny man played Robert De Niro's shrink in Analyze This. Again, we're looking for the actor who played Robert De Niro's shrink in the film Analyze This. You got about 22 seconds left.
All right, question number eight, last question in the round, and it is a doozy. All right, this Tim Burton science fiction film was based on a series of Topps trading cards. Again, this Tim Burton science fiction film was based on a series of Topps trading cards. All right, you got about 20 seconds left. Alright, so our last game of the evening is Pick That Price. I'm going to show you a group of three items. Below those three items, there's going to be two prices. You're going to have to determine which price is the price of the three items combined. You'll mark either price A or price B. Each group is going to be worth one point, and you're going to have one minute to answer each question. Now, all of the items and their prices have been taken from either extrafoods.ca, walmart.ca, or amazon.ca. Again, we're in the time of uh, a pandemic, a lockdown, you shouldn't be leaving your house, so all the prices are going to be from online Canadian retailers. All right, question number one for pick the price. We have a Franklin Official Size and Weight Horseshoe set, a Yinsma four-player badminton set, and a Pine Meadow Nitrix Women's Golf set. Now, is the combined price of these three items $571.45 or $356.89? Again, this is without tax and it's all three items combined. So are these three items $571.45? or $356.89. You be the judge, A or B on your answer sheet. All right, question number two. We have a 650 gram bag of McCain Super Spirals. We have a package of original Top Dogs and we have eight PC Sirloin Burgers. Now, are the price of these three items combined $24.04 or $16.78? Again, no tax, but you need to find the complete cost of all three items. It's either $24.04 or $16.78.
All right, moving right along to question number three. We have one bunch of kale. We have an 800 gram package of salmon fillets, frozen, and we have a 100 gram pack of quinoa with garlic and herb seasoning. Now, are these three items $24.87 or $15.95? Again, this is without tax and it's the combined price of all three items. So $24.87 or $15.95. All right, we're moving right along here. Question number four. Our first item is a 20 volt Craftsman drill slash driver kit with one battery and one charger. We also have a Shark Duo Clean Upright Vacuum as well as a 13 piece DeWalt Black Oxide Drill Bit Set. Now, is the combined price of the, these items $378.98 or $267.56? Again, are these three items $378.98 or $267.56? You be the judge. Alright, question number five, only two questions left. We have an eight pound IBF medicine ball with handles, an EDX adjustable skipping rope that's 10 feet long, and we have S Sport Skechers lace up shoes, sizes seven to 13 women. Now, is the combined price of these three items $89.76 or $137.95? You be the judge. All right, we've reached our final question of the evening. So our first item is a premium exfoliating loofah that fits on your hand, six large organic bath bombs assorted, and a 532 milliliter bottle of Aveeno moisturizing lotion. Now, is the combined price of these three items $35.98 or $62.46? Again, we're looking for the combined price of these three items, not including tax. $35.98 or $62.46. You be the judge. done this week's episode of Quizantine. I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, I had an awesome time making this video. It was a lot of work, but again, it is just so awesome that we can come together as a community and just have some fun in, in a time where it is pretty difficult to find fun. What I do need from you though is to either email me back the form that you or submit the form I should say uh, that you had your answers on or email me back the printed out sheet uh, and then I'll tabulate the scores and then we'll find out our standings on Monday. So that's either in two days or three days, depending on when you're doing this quiz. Thanks again for everyone for playing and uh, we'll see you on Monday with the standings video.